Peace and love. Welcome. Come on in. Welcome to the dynasty. My beautiful ones. Let's get into this energy. Libra. I hope that you are doing well and that you are feeling lovely. Yes, you know that I wish for all those beautiful things for you. Beautiful Libras, anything that you need from me can be found below in the description section. One-on-one -on -one bookings as well as a link to a free natal chart so that you can explore all of these energies from within you, beautiful ones. We're going to tap in tonight. I wanted to check in with you all, see how you are doing in this energy of this solar eclipse. Uh-huh. So where I am at in California, we only got a partial eclipse. Most people travel closer to Texas and Mexico to get the full energetic energy of it today on the 8th. And it still felt heavy no matter where you are. So I don't know if you had a chance to look at it. I will post in the community section a picture of what it looked like from here in California, in the United States. And yeah, I'd love to know if you all got a picture of it or if you even set in the energy of it. What is it happening like now? <laughs> okay, what's going on with you? All right. I hope that you're all doing well and being grounded and in the energy of keeping yourself grounded as we've been talking about for weeks now. I wanted to prepare you all. Spiritually, that's what I'm always doing through these readings, preparing you for the future. And being grounded is going to be important. So do kind things for yourself in this energy. If you suffer from any type of anxieties or you have any type of nervousness in this energy, be mindful of what it is that you're putting in your body, that you're putting in your mind, your spirit, your soul, the food you eat, the places you go, the people you see. This is not a time to really mix and mingle, shall I say, uh-huh, if you don't have to. This is a good time for you to go in. And you'll have until April 12th to work in this energy, manifesting exactly what it is that you want for yourself. How do you see yourself? This energy that we are in right now, it is about your North Node. This is everything North Node. What do you see for yourself in the future? What is it that you want for yourself in the future? What is it that you know is for you? Yeah, that's what we'll be tapping into in this energy, beautiful ones. Uh-huh. And this is what I want you all to tap into. So your tea, yellow teas, okay? Chamomile tea. You can have a beautiful blend of different marigold oils, Miriam, flowers, any type of herbals or botaniques, flowers, things of that nature. The color yellow itself is springtime representation. And these are also 
things that will calm you while in this energy. As we sift through it, I have my yellow candle burning here. Uh-huh, and it is dressed. Yeah. I have frankincense, myrrh, rose. A lot of powerful herbs are in this candle as I burn it slowly with the energy of what is happening, what is going on. And speaking that intention and that power into your candle when you dress them. I may do another recording on that, but I know that those of you that saw the recording that I did on that already get the gist of it. I shared the oils. Beautiful ones, I want you to find comfort in this energy and put you first as much as you can, okay? So let's go ahead, let's get into it. <laughs> 6.06 on the timer. What's really going on? With my beautiful ones. Let's tap in. I am protected by my host of angels, ancestors, and spirit guides as I channel these messages. Be sure to take what is yours and to simply leave what is not. I want to thank everyone for the shares, the likes, the comments. Beautiful ones, I love you so. Tribe. I love you so. Enter to win for the giveaway. Don't forget. Instructions are in the community section. Uh-huh. So tap in while we tap in. Let's get into this energy. Let's see what's going on in this eclipse. Because people are tripping out here. <laughs> I'm not going to hold you, babes. They out here wilding. They acting up. We're going to start off with Secrets of the Ancestors, okay? See what the ancestors have to say in this energy. Cards for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. The Ancestral Force. Completion. Boom. Straight like that. Completion. This is the closing of some cycles, beautiful ones. Please believe it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether you know it or not, the old you is gone. Plant the seeds, beautiful ones. Plant them. Plant them now. The ancestral force completion is here. Okay. More cards for Libra. Mm, that's way too many. Thank you, Spirit. Creature of air. Of course, you are. Speed is the creature of air. And I'm going to pull four of these. And I'm going to read them. So we can understand the energies hopefully. Mother of fire, sun and shine is out here. More cards, spirit, Libra. Hey, spirit. All right. The goddess circle, will of change. Uh-huh. Mm. And we got the trickster as the overall energy. Ego in excess. Yeah, I told you they trip it out here. Overall energy is the trickster. So let's get into it. Let's see what spirit has to say with the cards that have been revealed. The ancestral force, completion. Be proud, celebrate yourself. You have a well-deserved sense of wholeness. 
The vibe is fulfillment and harmony. You have a better understanding of who you are now than ever before. You are protected. You are safe. It is safe to be safe. The ancestors have your back in full force. Embrace the new opportunities. Ancestral memory. The ancestral force comes through as the Yerba in Igongon masquerade. Igongon is a celebration of ancestral spirits that provide a portal for participants and communicate with those who have transitioned. Astral medicine for this card is allow yourself to be more vulnerable with the people in your inner circle. If you don't have people you can be open with, consider allowing in more people. This is the world card. The astral force is the world. This is completion, beautiful ones. And the declaration for this card is, I embrace my sacred connection to infinity potential. Mm. Show it one more time for you. It's beautiful. Creature of air is here. The creature of air. Mm. Frequency of 34, if you want to check the frequency. Creature of air is a knight of sword. And their declaration is, I am willing to take my time. Normally, the creature of air doesn't take their time because <laughs> it's air, right? But this card says, you are highly driven in running towards what you want in pursuit of your dreams. The speed is evident, but where is the heart? If you are asking a yes or no question, this ancestor leaps forward with a slither to say no. Make a decision, speak your mind, slow down, and make aligned choices. Your passion and confidence are clear. If someone is coming at you, remember, you don't have to attend every fight you're invited to. Your reckless communication style is not working. Air ancestors are the most analytical. There is a difference between being assertive and arrogant or out of control. This ancestor shows up as the Haitian sky father and the Iowa Dumbala Wido. This reptilian animal spirit the python moves through the air quickly. Yes, there is a flying snake. The snake got a bad rap in the Garden of Eden. Snakes represent freedom in Hindu philosophy and spiritual gifts in the West and Southern African theologies. Your ancestors were not always great communicators. You must heal this going forward. Respect your truth and the truth of those around you as well. Hey, there's nothing else to say on that. And I spoke on that the other day, the power of our tongue, okay? We have to be very careful how we use our swords, beautiful ones, because we could cut ourselves with them. Mm-hmm. And we can all be guilty of it. I mean, it is what it is. There's a fine line between arrogance and speaking your truth. Spirit is saying to slow down, slow, slow down. I'm always saying that to y'all. <laughs> Yes, slow down, beautiful ones, all right? You got the mother of fire that's here. 
And this is shine and rise. Yeah, go ahead and shine while you rise and rise and shine. But I love how it says shine and rise because you're going to shine and be seen for your shine before anyone even notices your rise. Yeah, this is a way of saying, you know how some people see who you are before you saw who you are? This is that energy. This is a queen of wands. The declaration for this card is my confidence is magnetic. Yeah, so the confidence that you have within yourself, however it is you're giving it out, it's like a magnet. Mm-hmm, people can't get enough of it. This card says, yes, own it all. The good, the bad, and the potentially ugly. Own your power. Living life by your own rules is not easy, but this is what the, is necessary for you. Let the haters hate. You enjoy the intention. You have the power of influence. Use it wisely. You got next, Libra. You got next. Yeah. <laughs> and in the same breath, the creature of air tells us to slow, slow down. Because it's a balance between the two beautiful ones. And many of you could be dealing with a fire sign. Uh-huh. This is what I'm getting from this energy. Mm. And the earth sign. Let's talk about it. Wow, I'm just studying these cards. So this is the Queen of Wands. Many are warmed by the bright light you shine. This makes you a magnet for social butterfly when you choose to be. Your powers of influence for good. Use your powers of influence for good, okay? Yeah, your bright light shines. Very bright, beautiful ones. Queen of Wands energy. The goddess of change, okay? Uh-huh. And of course, it's frequency of 10. Endings and beginnings. This is the goddess circle. All right. And they have all the goddesses here. Uh-huh. On this card. I have to cover up one of them. But. I'll hold it this way. So you can see it. But you see all the goddesses. There is a season for everything. And this is yours. If you haven't already received the good news, it's on its way. It is safe to celebrate. You deserve it. Don't question the joy. Do not wait for the other shoe to drop. Rejoice, beautiful. You are the moment. This is your time. Positive change is on the way. Expansion, evolution, revolution. Be open to change. This is a great season to let go of the past and take a big risk. The power, Egyptian goddess and queens from the African goddess rising oracle deck, Katesh, Nefertiti, Mayat, Sekhmet, Isis, Aset, show up for the goddess circle. Their unified power creates a potential of unlimited choices and transformations. One thing about the Wheel of Fortune is it keeps turning for some of your ancestors. It was difficult to feel joy for joy's sake. Heal their energy by celebrating yours now. Learn what it feels like to reveal in joy, pleasure and fun just for the sake of it. I'm a winner, baby. That's the declaration for this car. I'm a winner, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's the declaration. 
So beautiful ones, if you have to play this back to rewrite these declarations down, I want you to say them to yourself and believe them as you say them. Beautiful ones. The trickster is out here. I can't forget about the trickster. Being your overall energy. Okay. We have the trickster out here. Let's go ahead and tap into this energy of the trickster. And see what they have up their sleeve. Frequency of 15. The devil. Right. Ego and excess. See, somebody was doing too much, okay? This is the ego. Somebody's in your energy doing too much. This is the declaration for this card is, I easily release anything that is holding me back. This is why I talk about the releasing and the burning of the names. Please believe your power works in these rituals. If you need to put a name in a burning bowl, do it. Speak over it, release it, and be done with it. That was just a side note. So the trickster ego and excess is, are you or someone around you making unhealthy choices? You feel trapped? Your shadow appears to be in charge. Your vices and fears are in danger of ruining your life. You are the cause of the mess you are in. That may sound like bad news, but the great news is that you have the key to fix it. The devil is in the details. You are being seduced by unhealthy attachments, your temptations, materialism, addiction, you feel trapped. Life has convinced you that you are powerless. The trickster is terrifying because we fear getting lost within our own indulgences. You've been stuffing down and hiding your shadow self and your inner dark goddess is not happy about it. Under all of that rage is grief that is calling out to be seen felt and healed. The ancestral trickster comes forward as Anansi, the cunning West African spider god, the renowned tempter and mischief maker weaves intricate webs that lure the unsuspecting. Anansi's secret is that he teaches lessons of discernment and consequences. The ancestor can represent, this ancestor can represent depression. If you want something different, you need to do something different. Look beyond your vices. If you need help, get it, okay? So this will be for some of my Libras. If you need help, get it for whatever addiction that you may be dealing with. But I'm gonna say that this is for the person in your energy, all right? Now you be honest with yourself because you know if this is for you to some degree, okay? Whatever degree it is, whatever your vices are that you may need to get under wraps but this is in your energy and it feels outside of your energy and how i know this is because the next card up is the mother of earth this is fertile ground uh-huh this is the queen of pentacles here and she follows the shaman trust the path okay with the hierophant And behind her is Jumbi, total disruption, a tower. And there's a tower that the Most High is bringing when it comes to the chiefess. Somebody's strength being tested. Your test is 
your strength being tested in the synergy by a trickster. So let's go ahead and let's tap right on in and see what's really going on in this energy, beautiful ones. Let's get all the way into it. We're going to use... Oh, I'm so tempted to use the original Tarot. But I'm going to use the mys Mystical Forest. Yeah, Mystical Forest. Let's go ahead and tap in. What's going on in this energy? Leapers. Leapers. Your seventh house is being affected in this energy. This has everything to do with your relationships. Those that are going to remain and those that are going to fall off. And some are going to change forever. Ones that you've had for a very long time. And it's not your job to chase them. And those are things that come from these lessons, these new lessons that have been learned that actually have created the new you, a better version. Beautiful Libras. Spirit, give me cards for Libras. Cards for Libras. Libra Death is here mm -hmm. Yeah <laughs> Yeah Thank you spirit Libra Two of Wands. Mm. Spirit cards. Eight of Wands. More cards for Libra. Knight of Wands. Mm. King of Wands. Oh, brother. And the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's baby daddy is in the energy acting stupid. I'm so tired of these energies. We're going to end up doing a collaborative banishment on them. <laughs> talk about it king of pentacles in the reverse and the king of wands is here more cards thank you spirit eight of cups more cards it's free and the fool okay Let's talk about the beautiful ones. Your overall energy is the chariot, cancer energy, okay? You have the chariot that's out here. Your overall energy is some fast movement, uh-huh, movement coming towards you. Some victory and some triumph at the same time, okay? But we have the death here, and things are coming to an end. Cycles have ended, and some people don't want to let go in this energy. Because this is what's happening. 
This is what's on the table. You have the two of wands that's here with the eight of wands. Now, two of wands is someone looking towards you, okay? Looking towards you, looking for a brighter future. Um, the eight of wands is here, and this is all about communication coming towards you quickly. Someone wanting to communicate with you if they have not already, this communication has been telepathic and you have been receiving the energies. You have been receiving these messages. You have been feeling the touches. Yeah. The Knight of Wands is here. This is an energy of somebody wanting to rush in towards you passionately, having some hope of some type of connection with you. A King of Pentacles. Somebody's baby daddy. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'll turn them up for you. Yeah. Somebody's baby daddy. Somebody's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. It's in the reverse in the energy, okay? Upset and mad. King of Wands is here too. Mm-hmm. Flip and switch these energies, beautiful ones. Got the King of Wands here. And we got the Nine of Cups. That's here. Mm-hmm. You're somebody's wish fulfillment. And that's just the way it is, right? To me, it looks like for some of my Libras, you are more than one person's wish fulfillment. You have a fool here. And you're free. Because I'm free. Ah, uh, you're free. You're free. Okay? You freed yourself. And you're ready to take some chances. Some new chances. Let's talk about it. Give us the death card for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Death card for Libra. A Knight of Swords. Mm-hmm. So the Knight of Swords, we know this is someone who comes towards you, you know, wanting to make some changes, all right? This is the energy of wanting to make some changes. So there's a death that has happened, and some changes are being made in this energy with this Knight of Swords energy, okay? Possible air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Tell us about the Knight of Swords. Tell us about the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles. Someone wants to come towards you and make some changes with this solid offer. Uh-huh. Yeah. But there's the Two of Pentacles here. And this Two of Pentacles, this is about balancing something out or not being able to balance something out. Let's see this overall energy. So Four of Wands, excuse me, Four of Pentacles. Someone is holding on to you. They're holding on to your energy tight. Trying to find their balance. Give me the Two of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Pentacles for Libra. All right. A Five of Wands. Yeah, they're causing some chaos in your energy. Holding on to you. Because they're unbalanced. This is somebody who is unbalanced. And it's the Six of Swords energy. You're moving forward. From this energy. Excuse me. This is a knight of wands. Excuse me. And this energy doesn't want to give up. Either way you put it. Okay. They don't want to give up in your energy. Nine of wands. And you're moving forward. No matter what. And they don't like it. You. This is the new you. This is a kitten. Okay. This isn't a, a full 
tiger yet or cheetah. This is a kitten. This is a new fresh move forward for you. And the higher fin is here. The most high source is backing it. Because you're the queen of swords and you set boundaries, okay? You're ready to move forward. No doubt about it. Let's talk about it. Two of wands. Two of wands, spirit. Which is moving forward. Two of wands for Libra. Two of wands and Libra's energy. Thank you, spirit. The magician. Mm-hmm. The magician is here with the two of wands. Your overall energy is a star, okay? Mm. Spirit, give me the magician. The magician, spirit. lovers. Somebody's manifesting the lovers. They want expansion. This person may live at a distance from you. Spirit, give me the lovers. Give me more on the lovers. Energy for the lovers. Thank you. Temperance. Mixing up stuff. My goodness. It just it just won't stop in your energy. The magician with this temperance mixing up things. This is the third or fourth night in a row. Okay? When it comes to the lovers. There's someone in your energy still wanting to stop you from moving forward, Libra, in a new love affair, okay? Mm-hmm. And it could be a Sagittarius. This, it's, the King of Wands is right here. I'm, it's the same energy every time. I'm so tired of it. Um, and y'all know. <laughs> Yeah, you got a king of wands in your energy or Sagittarius energy that feels some type of way. Mm -hmm. And they are in a relationship. This is a king of pentacles in the reverse. Give me the king of pentacles in the reverse. They're in a relationship and they're worried about what the hell you doing. Okay? Ten of wands. They're going through all type of burdens. Five of Wands, because they start chaos in your energy, and they want to come towards you. You shut this energy out. Ten of Wands to the Five of Wands, conflict, arguments, they want to fight. They want to argue. They're unhappy with their lives, and they want to come towards you in your energy, but they can't. Let's check the overall energy. <laughs> Look, they're the devil, okay? They're the devil, okay? Mm. He's the devil. And he exudes of all of the different addictions that came out in the oracle, okay? When it comes to him, her, flip and switch these energies. But I'm really tired of this. <laughs> it's Aries. This is an Aries new moon, okay? So, I mean, this is why I'm telling my beautiful ones to sip your tea and drink your water. Uh-huh. Because, look, the devil is going through a tower. 
And that's why they're mad and they're upset because the tree is being shaken. You see, lightning is coming through the tree. They're eclipsing. Six of pentacle. What goes around comes around, reciprocity. Things are being made balanced in this energy. Yeah, that's what's going on. Let's talk about it some more. Mm, mm, mm. All the things I've been channeling today, y'all. Mm, mm. I would have a motion picture. Mm. Give me the five of wands, spirit. Excuse me, the eight of wands. This communication coming in. Eight of wands. The Ten of Swords. This is some deceit. When it comes to the Ace of Cups, when it comes to your love life, okay? When it comes to who it is you're to be in union with, your soulmate. Because this karmic twin flame situation, <sighs> Queen of Cups. Mm. with a king of swords mm -mm. many of you aren't talking to this energy you've left this energy alone and this energy is just insane give me the ten of swords spirit I mean I didn't expect anything less with this energy but let's talk about it <laughs> Here goes the sun. Uh-huh. <laughs> and this is the truth. Whoa. The sun and the ace of swords, the one of swords. This is the truth, 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 truth. Clarity. Everything that I'm saying is crystal clear. Everything. Mm. Things have been illuminated. Everything is being seen. People are seeing about this energy. There are no secrets when it comes to this energy. But you have your day in the sun. The sun is here and it's clear. And somebody feels that they're being tenor swarded because you're having your fun in the sun. It's time for you to celebrate. And they're not in a celebratory mode, but it has nothing to do with you. Three of Pentacles. This energy is collaborating or wanting to collaborate. Hmm. Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles again. Yeah. So, look, let's talk about it. Let's talk about your time in the sun, okay? Let's focus in on that energy. Libra in the sun. Libra in the sun. Mm, okay. The five of cups. This is some grief and loss. So this energy knows that you'll be having your time in the sun. They're feeling this grief and this loss behind it they see clearly everything now everything that they didn't see before they see crystal clear okay they see crystal shining clear just like you do in this mirror with the justice karma's here for that ass it is it's here and they see it you probably told this energy that they would have to pay for everything that they were doing. And it's excess ego that this energy would not stop in your energy. L let's run this down. And if you've been watching the reads, you know this energy has been showing up for you. You have the two of wands moving forward. Someone moving forward in your energy, being a magician in your energy. 
when it comes to the lovers in your energy, this is a choice you made and the choice was not them. Somebody wants to force themselves on you and remove anything that they think is in their way. Okay? This is called witchcraft. All right? Let's be very real. Give me the Knight of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Mm, okay. The Hierophant is here. Okay. So someone rushing in and the Hierophant is here. This is being led by source, this energy. And it's a page of pentacles that's here. This is some good news coming in. Mm -hmm. Somebody wants to bring you some good news on some expansion. Three of wands, all right? I split the deck. The hermit, they've been watching you. Mm -hmm. They've been watching you. Some of your persons know what you've been going through. You could be dealing with another intuitive, another psychic, another gifted individual in your energy. Someone who is very, very intuitive and empathic as well. That goes in, but they're in hermit mode. They could be showing their energy to you now in this energy as well. And I know many of us will be you know, um, hesitant to answer a call of someone coming in and this energy because of the whole Mercury retrograde thing, you know, here for a little while, but not a long time, you know, I get it. Let's talk about it. Give me the higher fence spirit. the three of wands this energy wants expansion with you they do you've probably been dreaming about them been thinking about them could be fantasizing about them could be in elusive states about this energy okay mm -hmm. wow something else fell out <laughs> the one of cups this is the love this is that one this is that love. This is the ultimate one. This is the gift. This is the one that the Hierophant has brought down. This is the source, okay? When it comes to a soulmate energy. Mm, someone from the past. Look, the moon and the six of cups. Some of you are connecting with a past life energy, okay? Spirit, give me the King of Wands. Give me the King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. It's me. Thank you. Mm, all right. Page of Pentacles. This King of Wands is trying to manifest you. Came out sideways. Mm -hmm. I know the energy. Four of Pentacles. They won't let you go. Mm -hmm. They're holding on to your energy. Because they feel left out in the cold. And they broke. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. Page of Pentacles for Libra. Esprit. Okay. Ten of Cups. And the Eight of Pentacles. This energy is working hard when it comes to having domestic happiness and harmony and security with you. Wait a minute. This King of Wands is your person and they're manifesting you. Mm-hmm. 
your person is wait uh -uh. oh goodness yeah because they've become enlightened and they've been watching you page of swords you could be on social media the star is here They want to heal something and they have faith in healing it because they're an emperor. And you are their two of cups. Mm. My goodness. Spirit, give me the nine of cups. Give me the nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment, Libra. Nine of cups. Judgment is here. There's a judgment that's here. But I'm definitely hearing this in your favor is what I was saying. And I look at the bottom of the deck. The victory is the judgment. Six of wands, okay? That's the judgment. The six of wands. While these other energies have to deal with their consequences of playing in your energy. The fool is here. This is you taking chances when it comes to this new thing tell us about the fool for libra it's me okay queen of swords <laughs> yes yeah, the queen of swords okay mm-hmm and y'all saw me shuffle and the queen of swords is still doing what winning out here with the six of wands victorious you're being seen you're being noticed you light up the room you are the light okay yeah many of you are energy healers reiki healers overall beautiful energetic beings and you're very healing energy to others that came out in your oracle, but you've learned those boundaries that need to be put in place and you stand in 10 toes down as if they were concreted in the ground. Yeah, uh-huh. You mean business and business you mean. Mm. That's the judgment. And the queen of sword is bringing the judgment because she comes with the truth. Two of Swords is here. Hmm. For a Knight of Cups. It's decisions to be made. Let's, let's talk about it. Give us the full spirit. Give us the full. Got the nine of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're doing your thing. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficiently. Split the deck because you're strong. You're full of strength. Uh-huh. Could be dealing with a Leo energy, someone with a Leo placement as well. You could have this placement in your chart. A page of wands is here. You're in your bag. You strong when it comes to creation. What it is, you know, my Libras that are creatives, you're in this energy of creating something that is going to last forever. This is a part of the new you, okay? This is... This is a dynasty, an empire that you're building for yourselves. Let's talk about it. Give us the Nine of Pentacles. 
Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, taking chances. Uh huh. Five of Cups. So someone is crying over spilled milk when it comes to a Queen of Wands. Okay, somebody misses your your beauty in their life. And they don't like the fact that you cut them off and created some boundaries and you're ready to take a chance. This Five of Cups energy is grief, regret, and loss for a Queen of Wands, overall energy, who is a high priestess, okay? So, you know, someone knows how gifted you are because you're a high priestess who's an empress energy here you are your overall energy back to back you're a high priestess who is the empress who is the queen of wands and the queen of swords you exude all energies which makes creation miss creation miss the creative uh-huh. The emperor flip and switch these energies. You're divine. Let's talk about it. Tell us more. It's a lot of grief and anguish when it comes to the loss of you. Okay? It is. There's no other way to put it. I'm going to go into some tea cards and we'll get ready to close out i want to get this energy out here protect your energy beautiful ones i haven't even called why i'm shuffling i'm just channeling oh my goodness give me the judgment spirit because the judgment is in your favor it's in your favor and this King of Wands energy is manifesting you. I want to tap back into this energy. I want to clarify it some more. Get more clarification. Y'all know I like to get a little deep with it. Mm -hmm. You're working hard in your energy. And this is the Ten of Cups. They want that everything with you, okay? Tell us more. Tell us more, Ten of Cups. In Libra's energy, Ten of Cups. Spirit says this one. A page of swords. They're watching you. And they're watching you because you're their two of cups. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're their world, too. Yeah. Closing out a cycle with the emperor. Wow. You closing out a cycle with the emperor in your energy. Someone from the past, Six of Cups. One of Wands who wants to come together and create with you. That's why they're watching. Page of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Swords, Page of Swords. The world closing on a cycle. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Seven of Cups. They're in their head. Uh huh. When it comes to you, too. Two of Cups to the Seven of Cups. Hmm. I'm going to pull out. Another tarot deck. Spirit, give me cards for Libra. Give me cards for Libra. Let's tell the story some more. What's going on, Spirit? Tell us more. Tell us more. I may 
gonna take these up. Yeah, I'm gonna take them up. Give me a moment. Wow. Yeah, beautiful ones. This um, energy is intense for those who missed opportunities. Uh-huh. I mean, there's no other way to put it. This energy missed opportunities in your energy, and they feel some type of way about it. I mean, and, and what are you to do? But go on and live a happy life, okay? <laughs> Look, live a happy life, move forward with a, a king of cups, okay? <laughs> What's going on in the energy? Spirit, I just wanna go through them. All right. Spirit, give me cards, give me cards for my beautiful Libras. Hmm, Spirit said, "Don't use this one." Spirit said, "Don't use this one." Spirit wants me to use the one with yellow in them. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Spirit knows best. We're working with the frequency of yellow. Oh, wow. One of the cards got bent. So, wow. And it would be the temperance angel. Okay. So, that's a sign. A Sagittarius is bent out of shape. Uh-huh. And we saw that. There's a Sagittarius who's bent out of shape. Y'all know I hate my cards bent. Sorry, I do not like using the word hate, but that is my pet peeve, my cards bending. And the Sagittarius, who is a king of pentacles, somebody's baby daddy, <laughs> with a knight of cups that was behind it, wants to celebrate when it empress, okay? After they have stolen lied and every other deceitful thing they're stuck in their head about this energy okay they're stuck in the head about their empress uh-huh going through lots of anxiety over this four of wands energy that's not theirs uh-huh over this new union uh-huh and you having this ten of pentacles energy spirit says turn it up right okay they're trying to turn your ten of pentacles upside down that's what they're trying to do okay look how spirit come out the box okay come out the box with the energy okay wow hierophant and i hit it like that with the emperor let's talk about it let's talk about it spirit give me cards give me cards for libras Libra's energy. Libra's energy. Libra's energy. So the temperance angels bent out of shape. Uh-huh. They are. Uh-huh. About this right here. This two of cups. That's why they bent out of shape. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about it. Spirit says. Spread it. Mm -hmm. It's time to celebrate, okay? Let the haters hate. Ain't that what the oracle said? Uh-huh. Haters, they're gonna hate. <laughs> Cards for Libra. Thank you. And I'm gonna take them just like that, okay? Yeah. Just the way they came out. They were crossing. Halfway up, though. Mm-hmm. Hit it. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Mm. Hmm. We got a three of swords in the reverse. We got a page of cups that's in the reverse. 
We got a two of pentacles that's in the reverse, okay? And we got the lovers. For the lover in you. <laughs> oh, wow, Libra. I told you the energy was wilding out tonight. Because <laughs> judgment is ringing. Give me more cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. Thank you. All right. A Queen of Cups and the Star. One off the top, the devil. Let's talk about it. So, Libra, you've healed your heart. You're healing your heart. Your heart is healing. Somebody wants to heal the heart, okay? There's a page of cups that's in the reverse. This is somebody immature that doesn't know how to love, that does not know because they are imbalanced. They're imbalanced. Two of Pentacles is in the reverse. They can't find their balance because they're a temperance angel that's bent out of shape about what's going on with you and lover, the lovers, okay? Now, you're in a synergy of a Queen of Cups energy, okay? Or you could just possibly have a water sign in your energy. We're going to tap in, okay? Mm-hmm. But this is about some empathy, some, you know, you being an empathic and the energy of empathy that is here. The star is here. This is hope and faith. You could be seen in the eye. You could be on the internet. You could also be in this energy of someone wanting to heal. This is more healing going on. Three of Swords with the, the star. This is healing happening in your energy. So the devil is here. Ironic, the devil is right beneath the temperance angel, right? Hmm. I split the deck. Look, Seven of Swords. And that's what the devil is here for, right? With a temperance angel. Mm-hmm. Lying and stealing and... Willing and dealing is what I'm hearing. When it came to an empress, wow. Mm. What an unlucky energy, right? Let's talk about it. Spirit, give me the temperance angel. Give me the... Oh. I didn't have to wait no time. Somebody's baby daddy. Uh-huh. Okay, we got the king of pentacles here, who is a nine of cups. This energy wants to come towards you in some type of celebratory mood. This energy do, just doesn't get it. They don't get it. They could be collaborating with others as well. Uh-huh. So let's tap into this Three of Cups energy. Mm -hmm. This person, you know, they have a twisted way of what love is. You hit them with a bow and arrow. This energy feel, feels like they invested like they're waiting on their investment to come through when it comes to your energy. Give me the three of cups for Libra. Thank you. Yeah, they're sitting back, retreating, resting, uh-huh, in this energy, feeling like a wounded hero, feeling beat up because what it is they're trying in your energy is not working. Uh-huh, it's not working. And they're trying to come up with different ways, different people to collaborate in this energy, okay? But people clearly see this energy as unbalanced in more than one way. Uh-huh. Give me the four of swords. Four of swords. Thank you. Mm-hmm. The empress here. They got their energy focusing in on your emperor. Uh-huh. This is the card that wanted to come out with it. They're watching your emperor. Okay? They're watching your emperor. Look. This isn't going to be for everybody. But whoever it is has wind of you that is involved with somebody else new or has somebody new in your energy even, this person is spying. If not on social media, if not driving by your house, if not watching you through other ways, okay, energetically, it's happening. Okay? Mm-hmm. Seven of Cups is 
in the reverse. There's no confusion here. Not at all. They're not confused. They feel like they know something. They feel like they know. All right? You probably have not told this energy anything, but this energy feels like they know. They're watching your emperor. They're watching a the divine masculine energy. Wow. They're trying to cause, look, my goodness. Give me the devil, the king of swords. The King of Swords, okay? They could have an Aquarius placement. I split the deck. Ace of Pentacles. This energy is worried about the chances you're going to take when it comes to you going forward and in your abundance. They're in your bag, okay? No doubt about it. Give me the King of Swords with the Devil. King of Swords with the Devil for Libra. Okay, wow. Three cards came out. Yeah, this energy, they enlightened, okay, when it comes to you. The hangman is here. This is about, you know, them wanting to cause some type of suspension in your energy. It's like they had a wake up call. And in that wake-up call, they realize they lost you. And they're feeling like the wounded hero. But this is the same energy that came out before. They're worried about your Ten of Cups. Who it is you're going to be domestically happy and come into some harmony with, all right? And this energy is somebody's baby daddy. This energy, Six of Pentacles, they breadcrumbed you. And they may even want to be in the energy of trying to bring some type of fairness, but they're not mentally right at all. No, they're just full of grief and sorrow. Five of Cups, let's talk about it. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is somebody totally unbalanced, dealing with some swords, okay? Three of Pentacles, they're collaborating with someone, okay? And it's some type of religious institution or whatever to come towards you or to be in this energy. You could be dealing again with a cancer energy, okay? Uh-huh. Who you want to move forward in. They want to move forward in this energy. This is the chariot with the six of swords. This is super forward movement when it comes to this grief and loss. They move towards you, okay? Whoever it was they collaborated with, they were connected to some energies that whatever coven, whatever institution, society that they're involved in, this energy came at you and did not stop. They wanted to come full force, okay? Six of swords with the chariot, all right? And they're suffering from nothing but grief and loss. That's what came from it because they came at you aggressively in your energy. They tried to make some big changes. They had a bright idea, uh-huh, and that's the truth. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles spirit. Three of Pentacles. Whoa. Wow. That's never happened. <laughs> Ooh, we almost have some cards on fire, y'all. It's Aries. It's Aries energy. Okay. Look. This is a closing out of this energy. All right, beautiful ones. We're going to see this fire burn out. Wow. <sighs> you and your new boo, your person, your soulmate, the one that's meant to be in your life, y'all been going through hell trying to match and align with one another because of what is happening in this energy. Y'all been going through legit hell. This is the King of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. He's holding on to you. He knows who you are. This is a soulmate energy. 
and exactly what happened to this fire with the cards landing on this fire. This is what this energy tried to do in your energy. This manipulative, hateful page of cups. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Overall energy is this energy has been dreaming of you. This is the same energy. This energy has been dreaming of you. And they are not confused anymore. They know who you are in their energy. Seven of Cups in the reverse. They know. Cat is out of the bag. The secret is... And they want to close out a cycle. In your energy, split the deck. Some grief and some sorrow is here, okay? Because of the separation that has happened within this energy due to bad juju being thrown your way, okay? Mm-hmm. You gotta call it what it is, babes. <sighs> page, of page of cups in reverse. Page of cups in reverse. Page of Cups, thank you. Seven of Pentacles. Whatever this Page of Cups in reverse is doing, he's waiting for it to happen, but it's not happening. It's not working. So this is why he has to walk away from it. Him, her, whoever this is, for Prince Witchy's energy is my divine masculine. But they're walking away from it. They have no choice. Nine of Pentacles is how you stand in Ten toes down. Give me the three of pentacles. This collaboration. Three of pentacles in Libra's energy. Thank you. Mm, Spirit said this card. Huh? The sun is here again. Mm -hmm. Everything has been exposed. And everything is going to be just fine when it comes to you. Okay? This overall energy is a seven of swords. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows it has been exposed. This energy is being exposed over and over again is what I'm hearing. The Ten of Pentacles came out. Mm -hmm. Everything is fine. And their family is being exposed too. Their family is being... Give me the Ten of Pentacles, Spirit. Give me the Ten of Pentacles. Spying family. Mm, yeah. <laughs> this energy refuses to grow up. They're immature. You got the Six of Cups in reverse. This is somebody that's stuck in the past and crazy, okay? Uh-huh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Eight of Swords in the head. Six of Cups in reverse. You see all this reverse energy? With this Page of Cups and... Who else was reversed down here? I'm just so tired of this energy, y'all. Beautiful ones. My goodness. This is a crazy, a madman, okay? We got a madman or a mad woman in the energy who doesn't want to let go, who's a thief. Everybody's seeing this energy for who they are. They're going through nothing but burdens with the Ten of Wands here, okay? They're going through hell. And they try to take you with them. Mm. But it's not happening. Because everybody sees. You're being victorious in this energy. Let's talk about it. Give me the three of swords. Three of swords. Thank you. The moon is here. So when it comes to these illusions, these secrets, and these lies, there's this energy of you blocking you protecting yourself against this energy. Protect your energy. Uh-huh. You're protecting yourself against this energy. Give me the moon. Thank you. Yeah, because it's full of drama. They want to cause fighting and chaos. Lies. Tell lies about you. Overall energy. Block that ass. You're keeping them out of your energy. I split the deck, and they are out in the cold. Five of Pentacles. Broke. 
sad and lonely. Yeah. Give me the lover spirit. Thank you. And that's what the lovers is, okay? The will of fortune. The same energy coming out. They want to close out a cycle. This person, your soulmate energy, is a part of your destiny. When it's all said and done, give me the star spirit for Libra. Give me the star. Thank you. A Knight of Pentacles, a salad offers in the energy. You taking a chance overall energy. When it comes to moving forward, energy, two of wands. Give me the Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups, Spirit, for Libra. Okay. Justice is here. Karma is whooping that ass. And that's what time it is. And when it's all said and done, someone is full of grief and depression, feeling sad and lonely, wanting to come your way. But they have no motion. Mm-hmm. You're moving forward strongly, okay? With a whole lot of strength. On the King of Wands. You out. Let's pull out the makeshift and go ahead and get ready to close up, beautiful ones. Yeah, this energy is going to be wild for the next couple of days or so. We got about a week or two. <laughs> Manifest, manifest, manifest. Like I said, this energy will be lingering around for quite some time. Okay? So, you have to keep your vibrations high in this energy, okay? I'm going to be back with more things to support you all, okay? That's what I'm working on this weekend to get together some content for you all that will support you in this upcoming week, okay? All right, let's get some cards from this first stack. The makeshift, these are people, person, places, or things that may have something to do with your story, your energy. Remember to only take what is yours. And to leave what is not, my beautiful ones. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, become a part of the dynasty. Help this channel to grow where it's all things metaphysical from A to Z. Beautiful ones. Cards for Libra. Cards for Libra. More cards for Libra. More cards for Libra. Okay. Spirit said, one more shuffle. Cards for Libra. Mm. This bleed. slow down too, y'all. I do. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I gotta slow down. Spirit said keep going. All right. Yeah, I'm practicing slowing down too, beautiful ones. I be moving fast out here, y'all. I'm only really still with y'all. <laughs> and even then I'm going fast. Beautiful ones. Libra. More cards for Libra. Okay. All right, last stack. More cards for Libra. I was going to do the teeth leaf, but we'll do those later. Thank you, Spirit. Any more cards for Libra? Okay. 
some of you may like poetry, may write poetry as well. That's the overall energy. Okay, I'll be going through these energies. Remember to take what is yours, to leave what is not. Mm -hmm. Connect the dots. These may just be energies around you, near you, or that have something to do with you and your energy. Okay. Karmic soulmate. Okay. Mm-hmm. Wow. A karmic soulmate. That's deep. Because, you know, I, I explained this before. When I'm channeling and I'm making my makeshift, sometimes I don't remember what I put down. Okay. But... Normally, we're used to seeing a karmic twin flame, but I made a karmic soulmate. So this is someone who you thought was the other part of your soul, but they were karmic. Tesla is here. Somebody could drive a Tesla. A secret coven is here. Uh-huh. We know. John John is here. Somebody maybe named John, Johnny, or John John. Mm -hmm. Secret Society Club comes out again, okay? Secret Society is out, so for sure, okay? Hotel is here. Somebody could have gone to a hotel, okay? Somebody got hella kids, hella kids, okay? That's a California word, okay, that we call buku, okay, buku. It means a lot, okay, but somebody got hella kids. They got a lot of children, all right? They can have more than five kids is what I'm hearing. Hennessy is here. Somebody drinks that. Loves crab. Somebody loves crab. Somebody loves Hennessy and crab. Someone has a prison record, okay? It's a wrap. It's over. Okay. It's a dandada. Bank teller. Somebody's a bank teller. Good kisser. Somebody kisses really good. Mm hmm. Release them. Release them. That's this energy. Release them, Libra. Sexy voice. Somebody has a sexy voice. Cancer. Somebody is a cancer in this energy. That's the King of Cups. Mechanic is here. Pretty hair. Somebody has pretty hair. Somebody's name is Kim. Someone loves Gucci. The name Dylan is here. Come on, Libra. You know this, you. A money magnet. Uh-huh. Money magnet is here. Chip is here. You may like chips or you may know a chip. Someone may eat chips, chocolate chips. <laughs> Dodge Charger is here. Uh huh. Somebody may really like chocolate chip cookies is what I'm getting. Dodge Charger. Somebody may drive a Dodge Charter, Charger. We have Keisha here. The name Keisha is here. We have, she steals from you, okay? Whoever it is, she steals. She's crafty. And she gets around. 49ers are here. San Francisco 49ers. They may like football. New love. There's a new love in town. Uh-huh. I heard there's a new sheriff in town, y'all. Baby mama, daddy. Baby mama or baby daddy wants to fight you. Uh-huh. Somebody's baby mama want to fight. <laughs> Sean is here. Okay. Sean. The name is Sean. Uh-huh. Is here. Somebody's a future billionaire. Uh-huh. Future billionaire in the house. Ricky. Uh-huh. Ricardo. Uh-huh. Ricky's here. Hopeless romantic. Uh-huh. That would be you, Libra. The hopeless romantic, right? Bikers Club. Somebody drives motorcycles. 
there's a biker's club mm -hmm, that <clears throat> may be connected to this energy. Online dating, you could have met this energy online. Uh-huh. They're jealous. This energy is extremely jealous. They may have even tried to cyber bully you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Someone could be from Canada. You could have a bloodline connection to Canada. Lies, lies, lies is all this energy says and talks about when it comes to you and your energy. Okay, I forgot the end, but this is brown skin. Uh-huh, brown skin. Somebody has brown skin. I got to go through these again. There's so many of them. Bus driver is here. Somebody drives a bus. Maria, uh-huh, Maria, Maria. She's here, and she reminds you of a West Side Story. Loves chicken, okay? Somebody loves chicken. Loves Nikes and Jordans, okay? Somebody likes tennis shoes, sneakers, okay? We have Jose that is here, uh-huh. Our George, okay? We have Paul that is here. I'm also hearing Paulina. We have a Virgo in this energy. We have a Sarah that's here. You may know a Sarah or Sahara. Trisexual. Somebody is sleeping with everything moving, okay? They'll try anything twice. Someone has thin lips. And we have the casino here. Someone might need to visit a casino. Last card is there's a single woman in the house. I'm a single ladies. I'm a single ladies. Beautiful ones. This is the energy of <sighs> new moon in the Aries. Solar eclipse. I'll be back in your energy soon, beautiful ones. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tura Dynasty. Peace and love.